So on today's video, I want to give you three key focus areas that I believe can help you regain your identity on the other side of a serious life setback. On this channel, we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. So if you've had a, a setback in life, a long term relationship, business collapse, you've had a catastrophic uh, loss happen in your world, then you found the right channel. So today, let's look at where you're at. In my case, I'd lost a 20 year marriage and a business that I'd been passionately working to build for years, uh, all within two weeks of each other, right? And you know, I, I'll be honest, a lot of my identity was, was really wrapped up in being a dad, being a husband, and being a business owner. And I didn't recognize that as being an identity at the time, but you know, I was proud of what I'd achieved. And I'm sure you, in your situation, prior to your setback, may have had a relative, a relative level of success in your world, and then you've had a setback, and that, that whatever you've built now no longer there. Um, so when you lose what you've built and what you value, you can lose who you are, your identity. So I today want to just walk you through some things that helped me rebuild me, my person, my inner person, my world. And I, I believe it can help you too. Okay, so I'm just going to jump on the whiteboard here real quick. So if you look at point A, right, point A is where you're at today. And, you know, when I, soon after my marriage and business collapse, my point A was a painful place, right? So let's put the word here, pain. Right. Uh, I was in emotional pain, financial pain, physical pain, every pain you could think of I, <laughs> I was experiencing. And I, I chuckle about it now, but it took me a long time to be able to chuckle about it, to be honest. Uh, I'd lost everything. I lost my family, lost my children, lost my business, lost a lot. A loss was a, something that really I struggled with because I'd had 20 years of accumulating and growing and developing a life. And then had that life taken away, it just took a lot of adjustment. So I was in a world of pain in, uh, back in soon after the global financial crisis of 2008. But then one time, then I realized I, I spoke to my next door neighbor, Dave, who'd been through a few ups and downs in his life as well. He was a successful business guy. Um, and he, he, uh, he said to me something. He said, you know what, Mark? He said, crap happens to the best of us. And uh, I want to say the same thing to you. You know, the crap happens to the best of us, right? You're not you, you're not the only person who a serious life setback has happened to, but it doesn't make it any easier knowing that that it's happened and happened to you. It doesn't make it any easier to cope with, to to, to recover from, and so you have to have a, a, a real clear a, a support program around you, I believe, to help you fast track your comeback. Dave was that guy for me initially. He helped me start to think and begin to rebuild my life. And he was he was a he was a, good, a great guy. And I would encourage you if you can talk to somebody, you've got someone you can talk to. They they're such a fantastic asset to your world because Dave was a, the type of personality that wasn't going to give me any sympathy because um, he'd been through it before and he knew he had enough belief in me to know that I could overcome what I was looking to overcome. Even though some things would never be the same again, he knew somehow he knew, knew that I, I would, and he breathed that belief into me, just like you. I, I know you can overcome everything I do here on this channel is to help you and believe that you can rebuild faster and bigger. Uh, you can rebuild bigger than you would have otherwise been able to do had you not had the support. Okay, you can fast track a comeback. Your future is is can be bigger and more af more impactful than your past ever was, even though some things in your past will change, obviously. Um, but point A is where you're at today, right? Point B, now one thing that Dave helped me do was to, to work out what I wanted, right? And point B was my future. And, and this was hopefully minus the pain, right? I didn't want my pain to be dra you know, dragged into my future. Do you want your pain where you're currently at today? You know, you, you in your future experience the same feelings of pain and loss and, and 
and whatever you're experiencing right now, do you want that into your future or not? I mean, I, I, I decided very clearly in my mind that I didn't want it a part of my future. I wanted to heal. So instead of financial pain, I wanted to rebuild financially, right? Uh, instead of emotional pain, I wanted to become confident again because I'd lost my confidence, right? I'd lost my identity. So I wanted to get my, I wanted to get me back. <laughs> uh, instead of my um, my family uh, and losing my children, uh, I at that time here didn't have them. So I, I wrote them down. I wanted to get my family back, my kids back, and so I started to work out, you know, what I wanted in my life, and I I created a framework called the five f's family faith fitness finance and fun and i want to encourage you to do the same thing get out a piece of paper a notepad and a notebook and work out what you want in those five areas of life because then to go from point a to point b um you know you you need a vehicle right a, a vehicle uh, to get, take you from where you're at right now to where you want to be tomorrow, next month, next year, in five years from now. Now, you may not be ready to define this just yet. You may be, you know, what you've been through in terms of your loss may be relatively new and you may be, you know, still in shock, right? I think that's normal and that takes a while to, to you know, allow that shock to subside and for the healing journey to begin, right? Now, for each individual person, it could take, you know, it might take you a week, a month, a year, it could take longer. It took me about a year to get out over the shock of what had happened to me. But then um, uh, what helped me enormously was just having Dave say, mate, the best thing, he said, the be he said this can, this crap can happen to the best of us. And I'm saying the same thing to you today. It can happen to the best of us, right? So, you know, you can get up and rebuild. And what, what he encouraged me to do was to work out what I actually wanted, right? And it's a simple thing. It's not rocket science, right? But so many guys get focused on where they're at and the pain and they look and look at their past, right? So what happened back here in the past rather than focus on what they want in the future. And I get it because, you know, what it took to get to here was a lot of work, Right? And a lot of sacrifice and a lot of, um, you know, story, you know, a lot of uh, journey. So sometimes when you've had all that taken away, when you've paid a price to get where you're at today, and all of a sudden that's gone, it's harder sometimes to think about what it is you want tomorrow. Because you think, you, I think, uh, assume that it's going to take the same amount of work and time and focus and energy and investment to get to where you're at, to where you want to be tomorrow, as it did to get to where you were in the past. But that's, that's actually not true. You can rebuild quicker. To go from wherever you were back when you first started to wherever you're at today, uh, and, and you, you know, in my case, lost it all. You, you may have lost, not lost it all, but you may have lost a person or a something in your world that you're really struggling to cope with. The time it takes to get from where you're at today to where you want to be tomorrow, um, to get it back, to rebuild bigger, doesn't have to take the same length of time. Partly because you've already experienced you can do it once, and if you can do it once, you can do it again, right? But it doesn't have to be the same journey. It doesn't have to be the same distance, the same sacrifice, the same effort, because you already know a lot of what, what you need to know to make that happen. But I believe you can, you can this, this point B area here for you, as it is for me, it can be bigger, more exciting, more rewarding, more fulfilling than your past ever was, Okay. So I want to encourage you with that today. To go from where you're at today to where you want to be tomorrow, right? you need a vehicle. A vehicle. And what I mean by that, a, a, a pathway. I was looking for that program to help me uh, get my head right. This piece of real estate between my ears back here was in a world of confusion, right? And you know, I had two options. I could either take, fast track my comeback or I could do the trial and error method and uh, you know, take as take take a long time. And you know, in my case, I I it took me a long time um, to rebuild beyond where I was at. But it didn't take me as long as the first time, right? So that's that's the good news and all that. And it won't take the same length of time for you. You know, I I, 
I, there's resources like you know Comeback Heroes, uh, the program I put together. There's resources like this video channel that you can um, then you can connect with and learn that some some ideals and be inspired and encouraged around your point B, right? And and give you some principles, a vehicle if you like, to get from where you're at today to where you want to be quicker than you would have otherwise. So consider that. All right, but don't give up on your future. Your best days are ahead. I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt. So make sure that you are really clear about what it is you want. When you're ready, you can sit down with a notepad and a pen and say, okay, what do I want from my family? What do I want from my finances, my faith, my fitness? And what do I like to do for fun? And be really clear about those key areas in your life. Write them down. Don't worry about how you're going to achieve them just yet. Because what I've found is what you think about, you bring about. That's a universal principle which works, right, all the time. So whatever's in your head is what you're going to reproduce in your life, okay? What you give emotion to will turn up in your world, positive or negative. So make sure you're giving emotion to the right stuff, the right things, the right world that you want to achieve for your future, right? Get emotionally involved in uh, being passionate about what it is you want in those five key areas, key areas of your life. And then what will happen with you, like happened to me, is the way to make it happen, the vehicle to go from point A to point B will turn up in your life. It will. Always does. So be expectant for that to happen. All right. So in the descriptions panel below, you'll find two links to a couple of free resources I have for you. One of them is my 10 breakthrough steps. These are 10 breakthrough steps that I took to help me fast track my comeback. You can click on the link. I will ask you for your email address. I'll be able to then email those straight into your inbox and you'll be able to apply those 10 breakthrough steps to your world to help you fast track your comeback as well. I know they'll add value to you. The other link I have in there is my a link to my uh, Comeback Heroes webinar. This is a powerful webinar of principles. and I go into a little deeper as to how I went from point A to point B. Okay, the, the, the nitty gritty of what I did to make that happen, to be in a position today where I'm stronger physically, mentally, financially, and in every area of my life than I ever have been. I know you can do the same thing. This webinar will help you achieve that. Okay, Click on that link, enroll for the webinar. I know it'll add value to your life. So until we see each other again, I hope you've got some value from this video today, and I know your best days are ahead. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye for now.